Hello, this is Everyday Praise. Just decided to do a different trail this morning and I was looking for a spot where I could do the video and right along the path I found these uh, little ornaments that were hanging uh, on this small little uh, pine tree and uh, just made me think, you know, this is a perfect place to uh, record today's video because whoever placed these <clears throat> ornaments here was thinking about um, joy and happiness and sharing that with others and that's what everyday praise is all about is how we can share uh, a little bit of joy uh, a little bit of gratefulness for what God is doing in our lives uh, with those around us I mean God is so good and we need to be praising him and thanking him every day yes there are challenges <clears throat> yes there are uh, things that we will face uh, but we can still praise God in the midst of these challenges. Uh, today I want to reflect on something that uh, uh, I saw in a video. It was a film titled, I Still Believe. And it was a story of Jeremy Camp and the tragedy and the crisis he went through in, um, in the, the woman he fell in love with and how uh, she was diagnosed with cancer and they were only married for a couple of years uh, when she died. It's a powerful story. I encourage you to, to, to watch it. Um, I still believe. And a statement that Jeremy's dad makes to him near the climax of the film when Jeremy is just broken and devastated. Uh, he's having a conversation with his dad and... Uh, he says and asks him, what do you, what do, you do with, with unanswered prayer? Um, and Jeremy's uh, dad responds by saying that his heart is full. Uh, not in spite of the challenges that he has faced in his life, but his heart is full because of the challenges that he has faced in life. And I thought that was such a profound statement. We can say that we have challenges and it's not because of the challenges or it is because of the challenges uh, that we can be so grateful for the goodness that God brings in our life. And I can say that that is true of pastoral ministry. I can say that that is true in my marriage. Michelle and I have faced our own set of challenges. And I'm not trying to say our challenges are, are more or are less than another person. They are our challenges. And the challenges that we have faced in marriage has only uh, made our marriage richer. We have decided that we're going to stick through the challenges. No matter how difficult uh, those challenges might be, we will stick through those challenges. And as we are approaching or completing our eighth year of marriage coming up next month, uh, I can say that, that our marriage and our home is better because of the challenges. Our hearts are becoming full to overflowing because of the challenges. And it's the same with pastoral ministry. Michelle and I were having a conversation uh, just this week. And she was saying, uh, what do you love? What do you love about pastoral ministry? Or something about that was our conversation. And basically I can say that pastoral ministry is challenging. It is difficult. But it is getting better and better all the time. Uh, and that includes because of the challenges. Uh, I enjoy uh, serving. Uh, I enjoy uh, working for God and declaring His goodness. Uh, and I enjoy uh, getting through hard times with the people and building strong relationships. Uh, and so those are some of the things. I, I hope you're blessed by this video. Uh, there's much more I wanted to share, but we're already running the four minute mark here. And so you see my little friend with me. Uh, we got to finish our walk here. But uh, God bless each of you. And uh, Praise God today, every day. Uh, there is hope for all of us. God bless.